Are we live? All cams? You good to go? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Welcome back to the second podcast of Squad Brunch. I'm excited for this one. Phil? I'm feeling a lot better. I know, Same. Steph, you're feeling better, too. We had a Everyone's great weekend, PSU. I'm actually, I actually think I am getting sick. Like, no, you're not. My re-sick is coming. I feel it a little bit. I think it's just Sunday scaries. Also, it's been a long I weekend, think just so. drink, to drink. Well, cheers. We'll drink it off. Get it going. Bingo. Again. Yep. Me and Mac are drinking water. I'm trying to stay sober, man. <laughs> <sighs> Too many drinks this weekend. Mm. Too many. That was good. That actually was really good. You need a lime in there, though, boys. Yeah, we have a lemon. A lemon uh, is an interesting call. I didn't have limes, so we went with the lemon for <laughs> today. Tr- it's pretty but, chill, though. Um, Got to make do, you know. If you guys don't know who we are, the boys of 98, this is our podcast. We're going to be telling you guys about current events, debates. Recap of the weekend. As you guys know, we're going on Buzzing Across America, season three. And uh, that's Mac, Chip, Chanchi. Steph, and uh, we are here to give you guys fucking good time, you know, shoot the shit with the boys, tell you guys about our life stories, about stories that we've had, about parties, and um, Penn State this weekend. What do you guys think? Let's uh, let's elaborate on the score that we have yet to give it, and maybe uh, do our team discussing on uh, how we usually do it when we're just talking about what we're going to give it, because this school is fucking good. It was very good. Unreal. It's got a high rating. I got my rating already. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, I I had to decide before because I wanted to see what the Greek life, where that rank out, where the bar life would be. And it's it's up there. It's I mean, it's up there. Solid school, in my personal opinion. This is the best party school in the Big Ten. Personal personal I th- opinion. I think that's around the table. I think everyone would say it's the best. So good. In the Big Ten. Such a good school. It was really really good, man. Yeah, bar, I agree. bar scene was great. Game was electric, even though it was a shitty. Uh, Ohio game. Blowout game. Still Blow packed game, stadium. Packed though. Absolutely covered the spread. Love to see that. Fuck. I think this has mon- uh, has the potential to make a top five appearance. Oh, 100%. In yeah. in, in the conversation. Which is right a now. nine currently, yes. right? A, no, a nine currently, yeah. I think because um, what do we have the top five? We have Bama. Is, I have the list. I actually have, have the list. I'll pull it up right now. Current list. Bama, we have Bama FSU. coming at 9-3. FSU 9-2. Uh, ASU and Florida are sitting at nines. Uh, and then we have to close it out, Arizona, um, Arizona at uh, at number five. Is that a nine or an eight point? I think that was under. I think it was like eight point nine. Arizona was an eight point nine. Okay, just under. So you need an eight point. Uh, you need a nine. A nine and getting a eight point nine to crack it, but be tied. Wait, be what's dust. Bama's rating that we all gave it together collectively? Nine three. Nine three. Fuck. I don't know. I feel like that should be higher, low key though. Like that and FSU, I feel like have a very big gap over the other schools. Well, we also didn't know. You know? Yeah, I know. I feel like we got to rework. Like, We got to go to the top five and then revisit it and then re-rank them. Realistically, the numbers don't matter. Like, If you're number one and no one's on top of you, then your 9.3 is realistically a 10. It is, I guess, yeah. Because it doesn't matter. I think it's good, though, that we kind of gave it a harder yeah. and didn't go fucking 9-9 nine, nine and then somehow... We didn't know Alabama was going to be number one school. I like, mean, going into yeah. it, I definitely did not hopes. think... I mean, when we went into it the Monday, we didn't have much planned, and then literally everything came together at the start of the week, and then it turned out to be the best week we've had. One of the greatest weeks of my life. A five-day bender that just absolutely put my body in a blender. Fucking insanity. Yeah. How so did good. Uh, Penn State compare? Greek life. We can start with that. Yeah. We start, We worked with Pike. Really good dudes. I can honestly say, out of all the frats we've worked with, this is our 21st school now. Yeah. We've worked like 21-plus frats. This was my favorite group of dudes. Favorite, yeah, I think favorite group of dudes, dude. They were all homies, yeah, so favorite. relatable, just good dudes that just want to have a good time, get obliterated, yeah. and just live life. I think these were, and I also had some real talks with a couple of the boys. We, you know, how me and the boys like just like to get to know each other and shit. Had some real talks given, like VP, some good life lessons on his what, ex and what, stuff. What was the real yeah. talks about? Uh, you know, he just came in, came in hot, talking to one of the boys, and he's like, "Man, close the door." Now it's just three dudes in a room right now, and. And we're talking about it, you know, previous relationship. Girl was at the party giving him a little shit. And he's just telling me how he wants to live his life. You know, I gave him my my two cents on, you know, I've been in a few relationships. Yeah, Things don't bias. I feel like you you don't <laughs> no. like relationships. No, 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 no. I, will, I gave him the way I came from it was I was telling him live in the moment. You know, don't live like you need to be in a relationship. Enjoy your life. Love will come. He was one of those kids that was thinking he has to go to college and like find love. And I was like, brother, you're 20 years old, jacked like a fucking brick house. 
and fucking hot, bro. Live your life. Do what you got to fucking do. If you if it's with the girl, if it's a girl you find that you love, then date her. If not, just keep living. And and he loved it. The boys loved the fucking inspiration. I feel like no. you're crushing on these guys a little bit. Wait, Stop, you, no, 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 no. I'm just saying they're just like mentioning how they're hot. Well, I mean, real talks with them in the room, better one on one. No, they're just no. We we came in together. It <laughs> was sure right time, right place. No, room? no, fuck no. We came in together. It was a good bro moment. Yeah. It was a really yeah. good bro moment. Um, it's and the I love Italians. The dudes. Yeah. yeah, they got the fucking versatility to them. They can go party hard, you oh, know. Dude. Yeah, dude, I think like douches, and then also just you know have that soft side to them as well. I think like ninety percent of that frat was Italian from New yeah. York or like. Long Island Jersey. Literally. I think yeah. that's why yes. we got along with them so well. Yeah. It's like East Coast Italian. Good vibes from those boys. Hockey kind of lax. lax well, dude, they are big lax guys. Everyone's just Love fucking that. chucking the ball around up there. <laughs> Even a cig across the street had some lax guys, but like, they're not it. <laughs> Man, <laughs> AM, we're really sorry just about that. A quick, nah, you might, you might, you might, you might be good guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Overall, though, I think the frat life, the houses were sick. Very old like, school. Old. That's what I would think of being like. The animal house kind of like vibe. Yes. Like when I think of like Greek life and frats and shit, I don't think of like those mansions in Bama. I think of that, like the Penn State old well, I think architecture. of Bama's are like old. They, that is also old architecture though, like Bama's. Really? Yeah, like that's like Southern style buildings, like from the 1800s and shit. Those like big pillars, the front. Yeah. I'd say more so like um, Indiana. That's the new modern style. Yeah, like that, those house. were mansions. Yeah. Okay. Or even that, uh, this next week in Mizzou, those are like nice modern mansions over the old school style. Yeah. These were like traditional looking. A lot you know? of wood. In the wood. Show. Yeah. The yeah. wooden, greasy, like Bama yeah. was. Also dirty. We walked into Bama and it's like, this is not a frat house. This is like, you it's got pristine, fucking though. marble floors. There and, was a mural that was $1.2 million in one. Yeah. I was like, yeah. that doesn't even make sense. Yeah. 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 So I think overall, I really liked the, the Greek life here. And uh, how was the, the party? Party was good, but right before that, I guess one thing we should mention, no sorority, or there's maybe one sorority house, mm -hmm. so because weird. in the state of Pennsylvania, that was the, what they were saying. I, I don't know if it's a state. I think it might be by school. Oh. Like the school governs it, because we're in Clemson. Wait, you uh, got to say what it is. Yeah, so technically, you cannot have a sorority house here, because that is considered a brothel. Five or more girls. Five there's or more five or more girls, which is kind Apparently. of weird, to be honest. Never experienced a brothel. Really weird, though. Didn't know that was even. I don't even thing. know if they have brothels in uh, North Definitely America not. anymore. It's more like a, a European thing, yeah. more like old school. Back in the day. Yeah. But the thing is, I think it's through the school because when we went to Clemson, they didn't have sorority houses there. But when we went to South Carolina, they had sorority houses there. So it can't be a statewide thing, I don't think. Mm. Oh yeah, that is. So weird. I looked it up, and it says it's not actually a like a brothel. It's a myth. Like that's not oh. the reason that you can't have sorority houses. And it says that you actually can have sorority houses online, but. For Penn State specifically, they have like floors and residences. And that's not confirmed. That's just what Google says. I don't know. But there are sororities, so they got to be somewhere. Unless everyone is just forced to kind of like find their own housing. But where would you have like team activities or chapter or whatever? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of weird. That is very weird. Do you rent a spot? Like do you rent like a I think, nearest I recreational think, um, spot? The school may give them spaces and like... Like conference rooms or shit like that. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah that would make sense because they're still provide like it's still on their website. Greek Life has yeah. fraternities and sororities, mm. so, so they the got to give them something. Yeah, they would have. Yeah, they should have that, like a directed kickbacks, building yeah. maybe for activities. But there's one, there's one sorority that does have a house, Phi Sigma Sigma. Never heard of it before. I've never heard of you, <laughs> but it is no, one I've sorority. Never heard of that. That has a house. It's not a part of the Gauntlet, eh? Well, I don't know, about, dude. I don't know about that, man. No. Are we jumping to the Gauntlet? No, no, real quick? we're not no, jumping no, no. to the Gauntlet. Okay. We can wait for the Gauntlet. Maybe, yeah, that's a little that, teaser yeah. till the end. Um, but yeah, how's the party? We can get into that now. Cloud party. So Great dude, time. You want to start off stuff? Yeah. So basically, whole ceiling, LEDs, and they had a uh, what'd you call that shit? Foam. It was like clouds. Like, it was like cotton-ish yeah, cloud, kind of. Cotton, cotton. Yeah, it was like cotton. All over the ceiling. It looked unreal. One room, it looked way bigger than it was. How many people were there? At least 100. Yeah. 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 Great ratio. Hot girls. <laughs> it's a little young for us, but... So it's chill, though. <laughs> still a great time, though. Overall, still a really good time. Great time. Phenomenal awesome. time. Great ratio. Steph said it. Steph great said ratio. it right. Those guys do they it. They know right. what they're doing. It's Pike, not affiliated with the school and they pull a great crowd and it was a lot of fun they had a dj up top it was hot it was greasy steph took his oh, shirt yeah, off i took my shirt off dude i was dripping buckets yeah you were you were feeling yourself that night eh? 
Well, if I want to keep dancing, the shirt had to come off. At, yeah, at what point? At what point in the night was it? Like right when we got there, it was more when so I went after. On top was, of the speaker, you were just raging hell, eh? Yeah, you were looking good though. Thanks. What would you say is your go-to <laughs> dance move? I mean, I, I don't know what the name of it's called. I'd call it the buckle. No, it's not my go-to. That's dance called his new you. one. Dude, is you the, guys asking me to do a buckle is not my go-to dance move. That was your go-to one of the first trip we went on, though. I will say that. Maybe I did like you once pulled, or twice. Dude, nah, you pulled out a Mac, lot. I'll always look at Mac when we're in the club and Mac, Mac's like, yo, do this. Do I like because I, like, yeah. I like to see it, man. It's a, it's a good move. That means it's not my go-to move, though, because I don't go to that move. So what's your move? It's I don't know what's the called. one There's where he like puts a, the one foot Oh, getting forward. sturdy. Getting sturdy. Getting yeah, sturdy. sturdy. Getting, getting sturdy. sturdy with Steph. Yes. Boom. Great dance move. That's when when you pull that out, it's it's a good night. You're you're feeling it and you're having fun. You know he's nice and loose. At least you know I'm feeling it at that time. Yeah. Also, you were feeling it not only at the Pike Party, Champs, the bar um, that we worked with Friday and Saturday. First of all, Champs downtown, awesome spot. So good, man. Pat. Unbelievable spot. Pat, um, both nights. Too. Both nights. Friday with Sean Kingston, dapped up Sean Kingston. <laughs> w of my night. You almost said that's a funny video. Wrong though. guy first though. No, I was filming. I was filming, I guess, his entourage. I, I was just pointing to make a joke in the video, but it looked like I thought it was him. I knew it wasn't the big body Sean. Oh, you didn't know. I thought you didn't know. No, I... You full-on followed the first guy I that did. walked out. Dude, if you don't and know then, who Sean Kingston is. I knew who Sean Kingston He's was. a hard guy to miss. Also, also, Danny and Maddie were saying how he's put on a couple, like, LBs what in the past few years. Has? Holy fucking shit. Sean is... He's a big boy. Sean Kingston. And his, pants, big. and his pants, dude, he was wearing like way too skinny, like too short pants. It just, it I, do, I do not it's understand that style, but I mean, to each his own. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, I'm not wearing that, you know? Yeah, me neither. Yeah. But overall, Champs, downtown, awesome fucking venue. Um, dance floor packed, crowded. Mm-hmm. EDM, upbeat songs, the stuff we like. Uh, and just overall, really good hospitality. DJ Richter. Shout out Boom. DJ Richter, bro. That guy... Might have single handedly helped Champ score, probably no, raise it like 0.5 for to me, a full it was point. A, he'll help the bar night a couple points automatically. Yeah. Dude, he knows how to work a crowd really, really well. I will say that he knew the right times to fire up the crowd. Yeah. Song he's, he was playing, I don't think he played one bad song all weekend. He was dropping bangers, man. Every bangers. song from sing alongs, EDM, like songs that are in right now, guy crushed it, crushed on the sticks. Phenomenal, and he brought us on stage. Did the we did the shotgun and then push up challenge. Yep. We, he had us pouring bottles into the crowd. He was showing us out every like five yeah. seconds. A little excessive, but we love it. We love the love. And um, overall, I think he he helped out a lot. I think and he did laugh. Champs in general might be one of the best bars in the nation, and we can we could maybe have a discussion right now on like if. We are giving it the best bar in the nation that we've been to so far. I'm going to say that is the best college bar we've been to and on this tour. Your personal opinion. I don't think it is. The yeah, okay. What are, what are the other ones that are up there? Okay. The, well, the thing about Champs, here's why I don't think it is the number one bar. It's um, top three. Don't get me wrong. It's very good. I think the dance floor is a little too tight. They, if they push back the bar, it'd be really good. Okay. That's one thing. I also do like the fact that they have the underneath part because I don't know if you guys went down there to check it out. I didn't. They have like pool tables, arcades down there. Goodbye. It was actually a lot of people down there when I was there. And it's a completely different vibe from like the top floor. Top floor is raging, EDM yep. music. Down there is like people are just chilling, shooting the shit. It's pretty dope. But I, just, I love an outdoor bar mixed with an indoor bar. I, I just like it, man. <laughs> Pots, FSU, man. It's just tough to beat. It's a great spot. Yeah. Okay. So that to you is still. That's to this my day. number one. Pots FSU. So is Champs two. Champs is two. Champs is two. Okay. I think Galette's rounds out the top three. He's gonna like Fred's because Fred's is the same thing. I think I've Fred's seen has the outdoor and the indoors like raging. So it's the exact. You're gonna like Fred's a lot. I love you. that vibe, man. It's just being outside. It's just good vibes. You're an outside guy. I do. I'm it's hard to do that in the southern or in the north. Of it, the that, states. That's the thing that hurts a man is that the weather. Yeah. Winter time. I think just Which is the one that we went to in Bama though. Galette's. That was pretty good too. Oh, that, is what that up there think? for you? No, no, no. I, I think Pots is definitely up, probably my f- top night. Damn. But cr- I did say I got to crowd surf at Champs. That that adds a couple of points. That was a lot of fun. Steph, you were so electric Saturday when they looked at you. It was like crowd surf. You fucking. 
I'm doing it. And you just fucking got down there. I don't think you were that. No, it took me a little bit. I had to get like a couple of drinks. Yeah, we, we were forcing the bottle down We put some drinks yeah. in the system it, for that. It, you started to turn into a little like bottle slut with that one. You were like, hey, give him the fucking bottle. But it was good. No, we needed you buzzing a bit. But when you got up there, you crushed it, dude. Thank you. You were fucking it's feeling it. Did anyone stick a finger in your ass? No, no, no. No. <laughs> I was surprised my hat fell off. Next thing I know, someone just comes and puts it in my face. You I thought you were going to say I was surprised my hat fell off and then someone stuck a finger in my ass. I thought yeah, you were yeah. going to say I was surprised someone no, didn't nice. stick a finger in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> no. But uh, I want to say Chance is number one for me. Mm-hmm. Number one. What what yeah. made it so good for you boys? To make <sighs> it number one over Pots, over Galettes. Like what's, what made it the best, do you think? Pots is heavily reliant on the crowd. I would say you can't rely on the DJ to like work the crowd because it's like a completely separate area. It's like super high up there. Um, it just champs feels so much more intimate. Like when we had such a good time at pots because like our booth was just fucking buzzing. Like everyone, we cleared out the three booths beside us and they, everyone came into ours and we were just having our fucking rager in ours. So like that was fun because like we made it fun, but champs is a bar like by itself was just like, It'll provide. The it will fun. always be there. I get It'll it. Always be that fucking packed. They have. I like the smaller kind of vibe because like it makes it always seems packed. And then because you said the versatility of the top and the bottom. I feel like the top was too high though. I think it was need to be a little lower. I feel like you were almost disconnected from the crowd. I think that's the lowest thing you can go. Because yeah. you, if there's booths, there's like sit down booths underneath where we were. No, I'm not saying like physically possible. I just said in general. Like I like the height of the stage and shit. If mm. it was in level, like how it was going around, if that was just continuing oh, instead of going continued. upstairs, I think it would have been better. I agree. That would have been actually cool. That'd but be I like sweet. the intimacy with the DJ and the crowd. I think it's also a really good area for a VIP type section. You know what I mean? Yeah. For like a special guest or anyone there, it's perfect because you're right there with the DJ. It's not far to get to the crowd if you want to, you know what I mean? Go to the bathroom, go to the crowd. I think it's a great spot. I, I like too how you can go around the DJ. They have like anyone yes. can just go there and just kind of hang yeah. out. It's a cool vibe because like most places don't really have that to offer. So and it's like you can be a part of that energy on stage without yeah. actually being on stage, which is yeah. dope. They also have a couple other bars though. Um, we we went to Champs both nights. They got P Man's. We went to P Man's. P Man's is a good we spot. How is that play? What's the vibe? It's honestly like kind of similar. Like stereotypical club vibes you know they got okay. a dj going yeah. big dance floor and then mm-hmm. kind of in the back they have like booths and stuff and then people are it's a little bit more chill out there but i do really like the dance floor vibe there like we got it fucking jumping that yeah when we went like people were doing backflips oh yeah. shit really yeah and chance got, got control footage. of the smoke machine the yeah. guy gave him the keys to the smoke machine yeah so the guy just let, so like we weren't planning to go to p-man's and then we just went up to the the manager bouncer there running the night it was like yo can we get some footage whatever hopped in and then like 10 minutes in, I guess maybe like he saw like we were fucking having a good time. He's like, yo, you want the fog machine controller? Yo. So I just have this key now where I could like press four different buttons and the fog comes out with colors. So uh, people were standing under there. I was like, I would just like go up to someone and be like, yo, watch this. I just like press in the smoke with fog. would just smoke them in the face and be like, yo, what the fuck is that? So that was fun. But yeah, nice. we had people doing backflips. Boys were chugging. We yeah. had the baseball team was in there. That was fun. Damn. So yeah, Pimans was a good time too. What other bars are there? Dragons Den, I think not Dragons Den. Lions oh, Den, fucking is list right here. List all right there. Lions Den is apparently a, I think a country spot that bumps on Tuesdays. And then is it da- basement? I think it's the basement. Uh, yeah, basement. That is not like Champs, but similar vibe. Um, like top forty EDM music, kind of like a smaller area, big dance floor, DJ type style vibe. Um, those are the main ones that I'm that are hitting my head. So they have I think four four main spots they said one was a frat one right that's for, base or was no, another P-Mans? one I heard p-man's was P-Mans P-Mans is a big P-Mans. one yeah. yeah 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 i like how they're all close together too like very close like walking mm-hmm. is like within five minutes you can get to it solid college type uh very nice bar college life. town yeah. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. solid bar scene they're very solid i think yeah yeah really good yeah. I think the downtown in general was really nice. Like it felt safe to walk down. There yep. was food options everywhere. Like, and you had the junk like pizza mm-hmm. after we we had we, we had have? we had cannon pizza. I think cannon. that's where, good. that's where uh, Portnoy went to review. I don't know what he gave it. Apparently, he gave it one point eight. Oh shit! One point eight. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Honestly, we might have been drunk, but it was good. Drunk pizza. Like it was. Yeah, <laughs> he said it was. It was, it was very pizza. greasy. 
So very greasy. greasy. I've heard a story from one of the other students that he said he ordered it one time, and when he took off the pizza for the first time, it was like a puddle, an actual puddle of grease was on the plate, and he Ew, just couldn't man. even use the plate because it got soggy from the amount of grease. So I was like, that's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. It was good, though, drunk, for sure. What would you rate it? Drunk or so? <laughs> hey, little, can't rate a pizza like three days later. Just give, it, just give the drunk score. It just got the job done. Like, it yeah. was... Yeah. A seven, like an average fucking drunk pizza. I would say like on a day we're not drunk, we're just there to fucking eat the pizza. Probably like a five, two. Okay. Five? That's not, pretty high still. I mean, like no, I mean, one, one's really, really low. Yeah, that's true. It's like, like it was a, it was an average pizza. It wasn't great. Yeah. It wasn't bad. I get it. Yeah, that's true. How about the uh, tailgate in athletics? Biggest tailgate we've been to yet, like hands down. It was fields. On fields, on fields. So you go to the stadium, and from the parking lot to the just lies. grass. And there were so many people that camped out, trailers, um, in their cars. The biggest tailgating scene we've seen. And you I literally need a map for it because we got lost. Yeah. We yeah. were spending our time just walking through the, the lots. The guys that, the two frat guys that took me and the editors to their lot got lost on getting to their lot. He took the worst route he's like i'm taking you the worst route so sorry he didn't even know where to go yeah you guys did because we were following like the direction that he was pointing us in and and then we saw someone that saw you and said that you went down this hill and we're like like no way like that's like we went so far we went on a complete u-shape like the <laughs> complete opposite direction he fucked up pretty hard it's also numbered but doesn't go in in order it's in order a little disorganization it goes from now 31 to 34 it. yeah <laughs> Quite disorganized tailgate now that I'm thinking about it. But really fun. <laughs> it was good, but I don't think we saw it in like the full force because yeah. we got there kind of late. What time it was like 11 o'clock? 11 o'clock. Noon By the time game. We went to the flood. Yeah. People were already heading to the game. Yeah. yeah. Most people were just like, yeah. Most of our time was spent walking around instead of like one physical location. So like we didn't really get the true experience. We got to come back, I think, for another game and actually like get there whiteout. early. Mm-hmm. Whiteout. The whiteout game. Yeah. Would you say out of all of the tailgates, you know, we've done what would be, where would this rate? On your tailgating scene, it's not going to be that high. I don't like. It was a good tailgate, but I can't say I can't give it a high ass rating because I didn't yeah. have as much fun as like other places. I get it. Like I put South Carolina still number one. Goated. Uh, Blue lots at fucking West Virginia were so good as well. Um, the tailgate we went to at uh, Florida was very good, mm-hmm. but that was also like at a actual house. Like it wasn't yeah. like a, like everyone together on mm-hmm. a lot. So like it's kind of hard to compare the two. I feel like yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, that's fair. I think it's like a family friendly, like oriented. Very. It was and like little kids. We and also shit. didn't see like the frat tents. They have tents that we that was on like the opposite side of the stadium, yeah, across I mean, the street. We already passed and didn't even know it was a thing. Yeah. But it's more of a like chill vibe. It seems like, mm-hmm. and if you are trying to go hard, maybe like a frat will throw down at their house. Um, but compared to like Michigan, like it's way for a similar sized. Uh, stadium, Penn State's tailgate was fucking way bigger. Huge. Matt, like biggest in the nation. I think that kind of would hurt, I guess, the central like fun because it's like everyone's just kind of doing their Sporadic, own Sporadic, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was definitely the biggest. Great time. So good. And then the game was good. Oh, considering it was a noon game against a terrible team, Ohio, we were in student section no one took a seat ever. So student section was at was humming, we could say. Absolutely buzzing. Everyone standing, even not in the student section. I think the whole st- majority of the yeah. stadium was was up and about. Every time a touchdown comes, we are, you know, Penn State. Uh, one of the best chants in the nation. One of the best chants State. in That's hard to beat. college sports or sports in general. So electric. How I was I was so happy to hear it. That was just awesome. Yeah. Um but the energy for a noon game against a bad game a bad team, I compared to like Georgia went for a new game against a terrible team, not even close to the same energy. Not even close this was that. way higher. It was the first game of the year though. So everyone's happy to be back there. So it's fair. Like, like, That's fair. fair. Like, okay. It was still really good. Yeah. Also, Penn State is not as good as Georgia. Like Georgia just knew hundred percent that like Missouri was gonna get absolutely blown the fuck out. That's fair. Penn State I still had that like Ohio could give them like a some they, sort sh- they of struggled run. last week, man. They, yeah, yeah, they didn't do great against yeah. Purdue. They didn't do great last year either. Yeah, yeah. Like they're not, a great they're not those guys. School, right? I Currently. can just only imagine though a whiteout game there. So sick. Yeah, it'd be literally incredible. 
the, oh, or the atmosphere, man. At night too. At night, that'd be so fun against Ohio, Ohio State, or Michigan. That'd yeah, be that would be that'd be tough to beat. That one's tough to beat. Yeah. Maybe one of the best like game day experiences you could have. Would oh be yeah, there. yeah, yeah. The only thing with that again is like the cold. It's gonna be. Cold I feel like it's like worth it though, man. You got to bundle up for the fun though. Yeah. Like it's imagine like last year being in Michigan for the Michigan Ohio State game. That would have been a sick experience. That would that would be all time. Especially to rush the field. Uh, rushing the field and then the streets after probably were just insane. So, yeah, that is cool. No, that's they rushed sick. the field last time? Last year? When Michigan, Michigan beat Ohio State at home. Yeah, the big house that everyone rushed. It was sick. Maddie, big shit up. Maddie's Maddie's brother got a selfie with uh, with, uh Coach with Harbaugh. Harbaugh. Yeah. yeah. So that's a uh, big shout out. We can pop up the Who? And Juwan Howard. So we can pop up the picture right there, but that's a sick selfie. That's that is, a sick yeah. pick. Put that on Tinder, you might get laid, you know? No, I don't know. <laughs> but uh but yeah, that was uh that was cool. Speaking about football though, we're in uh fantasy seasons around. We got a NFL is back. NFL's baby. Back. Thank God. First first uh game Fucking day for week one right now. Danny's flexing behind Fuck the Fuck you, Danny, because you're a piece of shit. Danny's actually spanking Maddie right now in our fantasy league. We got the whole team in the league. Um, how are you guys feeling about you know where you're sitting right now in fantasy for you? For I your mean, team? it's week one, so it's early. Like, I'd, sick, Daniel, you're you're having a good week, but it doesn't really matter. It's a long season. There's 16 games, so <laughs> uh, I think I'm in a pretty good shape right now. I got my uh, absolute horse, Cooper Cup. <laughs> He's coming back. He's gonna be an absolute dog for me this year. Would you say that Matt Stafford is racist for only throwing a Cooper Cup? I think he just uh, takes his opportunities, yeah. chooses wisely, throwing his best receiver. Smart. I mean, That's they awesome. weren't double teaming him all game. I swear. And Dude, like, I don't know how they didn't double team him. It's working, it, man. Cooper Cup for uses steal. He's that's, an that's a dog. W at three two. Oh, he, just a W. I don't know how he's still there. No idea. I don't know. Fuck. I am stoked about my draft. What What makes you feel that you put yourself in a good spot other than the fact that NFL said you would go sixteen and zero and you're projected to win or lose this week? I'm projected to win currently, up by like thirty projected points. Projection um, though. Yeah, projected sixteen and zero, but who? I've never seen that before. After a draft, a team is projected had, sixteen and zero the same, for the year. Same as Chip, exact same. Okay, that's possible. Same position, everything. It's so like weird. I feel like it, it's never accurate. I will that's say that. I mean. I've been doing fantasy football for like seven years. <laughs> it's never accurate. You're a grizzled vet. In I'm the, a grizzled vet, man. I don't yeah. know. Won Last a couple time. championships and shit, so. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna flex now. Change has won. Yes. You last time you were in the league, you yes. won uh, fantasy won. football. Yeah. The last Wait. time I was in, I won my league. So. Wait, Chip, have you done one before? Yeah, I did one, but it wasn't. I wasn't up to date with it. I'm pretty sure after week three, I I was the guy that stopped caring about it, and you know I would have guys that were injured still in my lineup. So I I finished last in the league, but I also did, I can say I didn't put my full efforts there. And I think this year I'm coming in. I'm coming in with a goal. This and, is my uh, first NFL fantasy. How are you feeling I, about everything? Already learned a lot. What have I've you learned? So many. Uh, Macaron, wide receivers, great wide receivers. You need that. Mm -hmm. Well, especially because we're in PPR this year, so like every point, every reception's a point. So that's big. Don't, that's don't pick a quarterback high. I picked quarterback first overall, or first with my overall pick. So did Danny. Weird, weird flex and, there. And who are the two at the top in this week? Well, here's the thing. But I don't here's think that's the reason. Danny. That's not the reason that you guys are at the top. No, but it's just like, don't pick a quarterback first. I picked the quarterback first. I mean, you didn't pick him first, though. I picked him first. He wasn't your first overall pick, though. Yeah, he was. No, he wasn't. Josh Allen was my first pick. That was your number one pick. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, he might be beating you. He's You're facing uh, off him fair, right now. I, I had Joe Burrow, who had fucking five turnovers. Yeah. I don't expect to win on that. On my yeah. Steelers defense, on baby. Steelers defense. Let's go. So that doesn't help me out at all. I'm just shit out of luck this week. Yeah, we got shit out of luck because we also, every single one of us, lost our fucking parlays this week because of the fact that Joe Burrow threw fucking I'm gonna check was a doorknob right this now. week. No. Wait. I literally think I could have won every single game. That well, was the only game that fucked over your What parlay? were your bets? So we all had parlays this week. Uh, no, yours? no, it wouldn't have worked. So the Giants actually beat the Titans. What? what? Yeah. 21 and 20. Oh. Well, hate to see that so my parlay wouldn't have mattered actually well, what was your parlay so i had uh the titans to win yeah i had the chargers to win which they did mm -hmm. i had the Bengals to win which they should have fucking won but they didn't uh and then i also had the eagles to win and then i have the i would have the broncos to beat the seahawks mm, okay so it's pretty good yeah. 150 bucks for 770 return yeah not bad yeah, Not that solid. Bengals game was fucking wild, dude. So good. That they had two chances to win and got blocked. 
And then he what? missed it because of the, la- the laces. Yeah. Fucking. You hate to see. Guy that. gave him the laces. Fuck. We should start saying that when someone like fucks up. Buddy got the laces. Buddy got the laces. I like that. That's good. I like that. Buddy yeah. got the laces. What about NFL in general? What do you guys think of the year? Who's gonna win the Super Bowl? Any uh, bet online predictions? I got the Bills. I got the Bills. I put two hundred fifty bucks to win fourteen hundred back on Bet Online. They're they're favored to win the Super Bowl, so it's not like an outlandish. I'm gonna pick. be honest though. I love that call. I think it's really good. I think it's the Bills' time, dude. They've gotten screwed the past few years, last, especially last year with the way they lost. I still think that overtime rule is bullshit. complete bullshit. bullshit. I, I like college way better in regards to overtime rules, so I think that's fucking horseshit. Um, and the Bills can compete right there with the best. They just beat, they literally just beat the Super, Super Bowl, Bowl the champions, champions in Thursday Night Football, and they smoked them, smoked them week one. Um, the Bills don't fuck around, dude. The Bills, the fucking Bills. And also, if that city wins... I already know Bill's Mafia is going to burn everything down. It's going to be electric. We it's have to go rock. back. We, we, we to. honestly have to leave whatever school we're at, fly down for the fucking parade when those players get back down, because it is going to be, that would be insanity. That It'd would be, be insanity. That would be fucking wild. Yeah. The Super Bowl is going to be in Phoenix this is it year. In Phoenix? That we are also probably going to be attending during the same weekend as Waste Management Fuck. Open. So we can do both. That, that would be sick. That would be wild. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I think uh, I like that call with the Bills, though. I like the Bills as a team. Mm-hmm. Um, Fans deserve it. It is their year. I love Josh Allen. Yeah. He's a fucking gritty quarterback. Huge I love hands. That shit. I love that shit. He's not afraid to get down <laughs> and <laughs> run it and take a hit. You've seen his hand chip? Oh, massive. You haven't? No, I haven't. He has, Josh Allen has some f- nice hands, bro. He's a man. Wait, they're actually small, right? Or something? No, they're huge. No, they're oh. Like, they're genuinely, like, fucking massive. Kenny Pickett has small hands. Yeah. yeah. Who's, your, who's your favorite team, Steph? Who you like Mine? this year? Yeah. Well, it was the Cardinals. DeAndre Hopkins was my favorite player. But now, it, that his last stun kind of... It me. Yeah. Yeah. So who would you? Wait, what you? happened? Uh, I think he had P, like a PDs. So uh-huh. he hopped on the juice. I feel like that sucks. <laughs> you like Kyler Murray? Yeah, I do, but I feel like they're obviously not going to win. Never know. Without, Crazy without things him. have happened. They just got smoked by Chiefs, right? They got absolutely shit pumped. Hammered. They got fucking like It wasn't even hammered. close. Mahomes threw, by the way, fucking Danny's got Mahomes. He had five passing touchdowns, I think, in the third. So it might actually yeah. be more. Yeah, he threw yeah. for five touchdowns today, Patrick Mahomes, by the way. Five, yeah. Without, <laughs> without Tyree Kill. Yeah, he threw five. So yeah, they fucked him. So it's going to be right. what? KC, think Tampa, Bills, contenders this year? Rams. Maybe Bengals? I, don't, I didn't like Burrow today at all. The Bengals did they not look good. The Steelers, I'm going to be honest, very good defense, but their offense is absolutely Oh, they're not there. Dog they're water. not those they guys. They're horrible. So bad. I was so confident that they were going to go go down and get a field goal. I was like, all right, this is a lock. Like, Sneaky team. Suck. Sneaky team chargers. Dude, I'm a huge, I'm huge on Herbert, and I think, you know, if everything goes well, pieces come together, that's the team I'd be scared for. Did they I, win today? Chargers. Uh, they, yeah. they, they did, yeah. They, they beat uh, the Raiders. Raiders. Huge Raiders game, too. Team Divisional too. win. I want to see the Broncos, though. I think they could be a low-key sleeper. They had a really good defense last year, and then now with Russell Wilson, Ooh. I think they're ready to rock. Yeah, they are. Jerry Judy, Alabama. That's I want right. to see him do well. Fuck yeah. Give me some. Let's go. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Steelers suck. That's my team. Yeah. But they won today. True. Yeah, but they, they lost TJ Wash, They yeah. lost TJ. I know. Also, uh, big news in the social media world. Um, fight yesterday. Fight last night um, for YouTube Boxing Social Gloves second uh, event. And Eason Gibb. And uh, Austin McBroom fought, and he saw Gibb the fourth round. Great knockout. I mean, I think he had three. That was the third knockdown in the round, so he won. But he he clocked McBroom, like just torqued him. He, he, he was in great shape going into the fight, though. Looked awesome. Looked really they should have fought at champs. They would have had a bigger turnout. Oh yeah, they sold. I don't think they sold it's like two shit. two hundred tickets. They sold, I think, and then mm-hmm. they gave out a thousand tickets. Yep. And it was like a twenty-two thousand person venue. So. I 12, mean, the, the guys on the yeah, undercard, like, I feel like no one really wants to watch them fight. Yeah, it was like Chase. Chase Demore and uh, Chase Corey. Demore. Other, I don't know his last Wait, name. Wait, did you guys even know this fight was going on, though? I heard it was announced. I didn't know when it was, same, where it was, same. until I, I saw it on Twitter. For it, but yeah. I actually didn't pay attention to the date and stuff. Because yeah. I didn't know until, like, you guys were like, yo, the knockout. Look at this knockout. And I'm like, what the fuck? This fight went on? I didn't I even know. It got overshadowed by the Misfits one that just happened recently, yeah. I think, a bit. And also, it's like... There's not even a good card. And no one cares about fucking Austin McBroom. 
yeah. fighting anymore. Why well, the thing is though, like even like Adrian Peterson versus Le'Veon Bell, like <laughs> two NFL guys, I feel like that that should be like talked about a little bit more. Like these guys are boxing. Le'Veon Bell knocked the fuck out of Peterson he too. Did, he did straight right off the dome. Guy was buckled. Guy's just fucking athletic, man. I know, dude. It's a rapper. A lot of random player. people on the card. It was. Even yeah. like Nick Young, man, was on there. Former yeah, basketball player, Swaggy yeah. P. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about... I don't know what we... The event obviously undersold. Didn't look like was anyone this was there. Was Broom's like, uh, promotional Yeah, company? social gloves too, dude. Wait, so how, how did this how's happen? How's this, though? Did <laughs> not pay Bryce Hostel or something? I think Bryce is paid now. Oh, did he get paid? Yeah. He said, I think, on Bree's podcast that he got paid now, but... Uh, I don't know how he's doing. I this. thought they lost money. At I that thought he went event. bankrupt. That's what I thought too. He was getting sued. I thought he was getting a divorce. <laughs> I, I'm, I, yo, I, I thought his family was his life, too. His life's in shambles. Maybe bro. they were allegations though. Like that was we were hearing others. I heard guys. he was banging other chicks too. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, man, that's what I hear. I know, but what did that have to do with the event? I'm just saying, man, just going downhill. <laughs> now he, he just got knocked the fuck out too. So. Yeah, like what does he do next? Like if you're Austin, you like you woke up this seat, morning, buddy, take a seat, go raise your kids. You know, focus on your family. With like a couple, how many, 20 million subscribers? Yeah. It's just like. So maybe take it easy. He's also almost like pushing 40. I or feel fight like. Taylor yeah. Holder, man. Two fucking losers. In I the fucking ring. hate that dude. <laughs> that guy looks like. <laughs> Who's Gib fighting next? Who's Gib fight next? Well, KSI said he wanted him, but I don't think that'll happen either. They're friends, no? They're hometown boys. No way. Like, I think he just tweeted uh, Gib Slim. Mm. Yeah, this I, I, fits January boxing card. Doesn't seem like someone uh, KSI would fight. Yeah, no. doesn't seem right. Or or yeah. even to sell tickets. Like, they're boys. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Malak also tweeted that he, Logan Paul should fight Gib. And who is the British guy? Sam, Sam Hyde. No, f- British guy that did like the announcing in one of the fights. Oh, uh, I, don't uh, I don't know. Jordy. Jordy. True Jordy. Yeah. Oh, the true Jordy, like that show thing? Yeah, he also said that Gib should fight Logan Paul. And Logan was just like, he kind of took it that like he's way too good for for Gib and that he would like knock him out in two rounds just like sparring. Maybe just use this fight as a way to show you can win a fight. I wouldn't I mind the Logan good. Paul. I, I think it's, you could regard yourself as a good boxer, but until you have a win under your fight, your belt, it's hard to take you serious about your boxing skills. Yeah. I think he's just so good at just like saying that he's the best. And he did. And he has he's a, just, everyone just believes him. He has a Floyd fight too under. That is impressive so. on the resume. I also think that wouldn't ha- I think I know why Logan wouldn't like that well, because two years ago, almost three now, Jake knocked out Gib really easily. So for him, if you're Logan and now, you know, people are saying Gib versus Logan Paul would be a good fight. Maybe in his mind, it's like, my little brother beat the shit out of this kid three years ago. I don't need to fucking fight him. In his mind. Do you know that what I'm saying? True. Like, maybe an ego thing. Because how did little brother Jakey do that so easily? I don't need to. Well, Jake's way better boxer. And Gib yeah. is a much better boxer now, too, than yeah. that fight. But Logan's also said he thinks he's the better boxer. Has yeah. he not? He's just, you got, he's got to say that. He's that guy. He's the guy that stays true, and people eventually start to believe him until he gets into the ring again and, like, loses and doesn't <laughs> throw his right hand still. Fair. I think a good fight, Loki, would be Deji versus Gib. Ooh. That would be a good one. But that's too like they're, it's like the same as KSI. They're boys. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. It's a fight, you know. It's professional. They're professional. If we're now. talking about skill wise, I think it would probably. I think skill wise, they're pretty equal. I think. Yo, I do like that fight. Yeah. I also like the slim one though too, because those yeah. two are both dogs. It seems like yeah. they have like that yeah. same mentality where they'll just start swinging. Like they're kind of fucked up too in the head a little yeah. bit. Like they don't care if they're like eyes just shut, closed, nose is broken in four pieces. They're still like somehow trying to kill you and it's yeah. like yo what's wrong with you yeah. there's also salt salt poppy what's his name hmm. salt poppy he was impressive yeah, so he's That'd got like two one. knockouts in his both fights so mm-hmm. pretty vicious yeah also other news um in the current i guess just world queen elizabeth died at age 96 i don't really know much about the entire um royal family and stuff like that how did you guys react Hierarchy. to all that that's kind of sad, you know. She's been around for a long time. She's, yeah. she's technically our queen too, since we're Canadians. So. Boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But again, I don't know much about it. Yeah, I know I there's know. like a ten day mourning period now that's happening in the yeah. UK. So. I heard that they're gonna make like a, a national holiday in Canada to mourn her too. Oh, really? Wow. Oh yeah. That might have been. I think that's what happens every time like the monarch dies. They make a national holiday. Mm-hmm. For oh them. wow. Yeah. 
I think that's what I saw it on Twitter. I don't know if it's true or not, but yeah, rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. Yep, R.I.P. But um, it was pretty ruthless. Some people were like making fun of her, the, her death on Twitter. Dude, I've been seeing some stuff, Twitter, TikTok, and I'm kind of scrolling through, and I'm like, they're funny. Don't get me wrong, but death is just I don't know. Don't make fun of. I yeah, I they're really just savage soon, on there, bro. They're kind of savage. They are savage. It's savage. It's internet but warriors. It, I think it's kind of funny though, man. It. Some of them, I will say that. Dude, like one of them, the gulag one was pretty funny. Yeah, like her that, jumping out of a plane. Yeah, I saw one after one of the gulag. Um, one someone brought in Kobe Bryant, yeah. and it was like Kobe Bryant when <laughs> when he sees Queen Elizabeth in heaven, and it was just um. Just a, a small black kid just crossing up like an old white lady and she falls. Like, I, and I was like, yo, that's so fucked up. Like, what the hell? I didn't think it was that funny. You know what I mean? But like, Twitter loved it. Twitter loved it. Yeah. yeah. That was like ruthless. I yeah. feel like it's bad, like, if you're in that position. Yeah. And like, your grand, like, let's say your grandma dies and then people are just rinsing, just making me jokes out of about it, it on memes. Twitter and TikTok. Yeah. That's like fucked up. But it's like, you can't help but laugh. It's dark humor. If you like yeah, dark yeah. humor, you're gonna like those jokes. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It was a little day, dark humor a though. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I have no idea what's. Oh, next. sorry. No, no. Yeah, we can. Uh, I think we'll get into good. We can do some storytelling. Um, we've gotten a couple comments in the YouTube video. Um, one in specific was saying, "I think this podcast would be a good start uh, for us to explain how we kind of started. You know, this entire thing, the Boys of '98." Um, and started just, you know, from the YouTube all the way from our first TikTok, kind of how, how we came to be. Mm. Uh, yeah, I could start it off. I think start up October, mm -hmm. what? 5th, 5th. 2019. You just know the exact date. That's the date. Exact date. That's the first date. post. That was first post. Nope. But we started actually prior to that. We could go, we could start a little bit prior to that when we started the Instagram account. Okay. Oh, you want to go back that far? That's a, the... That was like the the seed, I would say. Yeah, yeah. I think our boy, when TikTok was starting to pop, summer 2019, kind of just started rolling out. People started getting on it more. Um, our boy David, back at home, posted a video on his TikTok, and it was just fucking just a random video. It got 400,000 views. Mm -hmm. And we're just like, how is that possible? Like, we knew the whole YouTube space, Instagram. Like, we were fans of a lot of creators and would watch content pretty much daily um and when we saw that we we're like wow you have zero followers and you can get four hundred thousand views on a video yep so um we just saw that we didn't i don't think we did anything really no. after seeing that um and around that time we started posting on instagram so me and chip lived in waterloo together mm. um mac was at conestoga but at that time you were home uh, I think you were in your apprentice or something. I think right? I might have finished it. I might have been done at the time. Yeah, so you're back yeah. at home. Steph was at Oshawa and his school. Um, and we just started posting random videos on Instagram, like sk skits, cringy shit. I don't even remember a lot of the stuff we posted. I remember, I remember some of them. The, the scares. Oh, yeah. It started with some of the skills. Oh. Chips just gets scared so easily. And every time we go, like, study or something, he'd go to the washroom and, like, come back and hide behind a wall and just fucking pop out. And well, you wouldn't expect someone to do that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I get startled easy. But, like... But the reactions were good and yeah, made for were. a good video. Yeah. So, like, compilations are just, like, posting shit like that yeah. on there. And it was called The Boys of 1507. Because yeah. we lived in room 1507 in our apartment. Um, and then... We moved that over to TikTok after being like, yo, we'll just try this out, see how it goes. We went to the grocery store and did puns. <laughs> yeah, this is the first video. This is our first TikTok that was posted on October 5th. It was a fucking grocery store pun video. Yeah, and we just went in there. We we're like, yo, let's go. We were getting groceries. We had like, there was peas on the shelf and be like, yo, guess what? I just peed. Yeah. And showed no, the I camera. Yeah. It's like so cringy. Yeah, it's bad. But we posted that, thought nothing of it, went in the Uber to back to our place. And I'm pretty sure when we were just like sitting prior to even getting into the Uber or maybe right when we got into the Uber, we checked the video and it's maybe like 10 or 15 minutes after posting. Yeah. And it already had like what, a thousand or like 500 views. I think a few hundred, almost a thousand. And I was like, holy shit, guys, it's that. It's getting it's getting views. We had no followers. The, yeah. the account had literally zero. And then an hour or two later, we're back in home, and it was at like ten thousand. It's at ten k, and we were like, "Holy!" We were so fired up. I remember we were we were fired up in our room in our dorm, like on a fucking 
I don't even know Friday night or like Saturday night and we're like this yeah. is sick holy shit yeah, yeah that was crazy and then we just kept on doing we did some more grocery store puns a few more then we did um a fake video where we went to go surprise our boy in Guelph. Actually, no, we actually did surprise we, No, him. we did. But we just made a video out of we it. We just made yeah. a video yeah. out yeah. of it. We rigged it too, so. Yeah, it's how we weren't mm -hmm. going to yeah. Guelph. It was uh, weird though. We literally that. showed up for like, what, like an hour maybe and then left? And just left. Yeah. 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 I think we did just for the video. We were just bored. Yeah. We were completely, yeah. nothing to do. Yeah. And then. Yeah, we went out. Did we not go out? No, no. no we didn't go out. No. Because Dave was just chilling. I think he was like studying or something. Yeah. He said we can come just for the video. And then we just came. So what's up and left. Damn. Wait, I think we did go out. <laughs> I'm pretty no. sure. I dude. don't think we did. No, because we, like, we literally drove home that night. Yeah. I don't think we would have went there just for a video though. No, we we no, like, we were bored like as fuck. <laughs> no, we had nothing, like, nothing <laughs> to it was, do. It's only 30 minutes away. So like, why, why the fuck not? And we went. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that happened. That got like a hundred thousand views. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. was that our first like technically viral viral video? Like semi, yeah. It went pretty. It was yeah. pretty good. Semi viral. Yeah. I would say so. Wait, yeah. What is vi viral considered? How many thousand? Like how many? I would thousand? say a million plus would be viral. Or maybe half a million plus. Oh, I think of yeah. yeah. There might be an actual number. I swear. For viral. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe we could pop up the definition of is viral. What is viral on TikTok? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then. I think we could fast forward to just we got like 17k I think was Something the number like on TikTok yep. posting just random shit um hosted a night in Waterloo we thought our we were first so, bar night so sick our first fucking bar night that was funny as fuck to be honest that was so, funny. so fun dude. dude I remember getting a call from you James I was at school and like dude we're gonna be hosting this night it's gonna be fucking sick I was so amped ready to come home for the weekend but yeah but yeah. it was funny looking back it was oh. a good night, though. No, it was good. That was a great fun night. night. It was a great night. Drink in Waterloo. That place was is a great bar. <laughs> great yep. club. Um, we had fun there. And then we could fast forward to, like, COVID hitting and everyone coming home. Mm -hmm. And then you want to take hey, like, over that here? That trickled more, though. That made it actually go into full. Oh, yeah. yeah. Once, yeah. once COVID came March, April 2020, um, we were all back home in Mississauga. Um, we were still posting just cringy overall cringy type videos. We had no niche. Our boys and I need account had 50,000 followers, zero niche, just cringe. We can say the niche was fucking cringe <laughs> and COVID comes. We're all back home in Mississauga, all live walking distance from each other. And we kind of came together and thought, you know what, if we want to do, cause it was COVID, we were kind of bored. If we want to take this TikTok thing seriously, why don't we post videos? We like one a day around stuff we genuinely like. So it was like sports drinking college lifestyle type stuff videos that's when the drinks you know what your favorite drink says about you um what your football position says about you what your favorite workout position says about you type videos started booming off um and we would post one a day and that's when our tiktok i think started just humming i remember videos it came to the point where videos, every video was getting over 10,000 views consistently. And we were like, oh, oh. way more than 10. It, it was started popping. off like the first one was 10. We were starting to get K's, like always the K. So we were always 10. And then we were talking 50,000, 100,000 to every video was going 3, 350, 350 plus range type of thing with a couple of virals that were in the millions. And that summer we gained... Three, I think we're at 300,000. Now we're yeah. at 300,000 TikTok followers by August 2020. Um, and it was good. Like, that was our best growth, we can say, on TikTok at the time. That was, like, so, like, sporadic, too. Like, it was crazy, like, how quick it was. It was nuts, dude. And couple, I think a couple thousand every day. Yeah. Every day. And it was consistent growth, consistent followers. Um, and then at that point, once we hit the 300K mark on TikTok, correct me if I'm wrong, we, we decided, you know what? Why don't we try YouTube? Going well, into the YouTube scene. Also, you have to, like, if you want to make money off this, you have to... TikTok wasn't the way. Expand. Exactly. And we had to convert that following Boom. to a YouTuber. So then we posted our very first YouTube video, August 2020. Th August 31st, 2020. August, that's the date. August 31st, 2020. Um, and today, it's the cringiest video on our YouTube channel. Still on there. We shot that on an iPhone, too, I'm pretty sure, right? All shot, hey, yep. all shot big shout iPhone, out maybe. Apple. All shot on an iPhone. Yeah. But yeah. It's still on there. Super. I, I hate looking back and watching I, that I've video. watched that a few I, I times, really I can be honest. It was the, what did we title it? Welcome to the boys. Welcome sure, to the yeah. boys. boys. And we just did scripted, just scripted content where we all had a there character. Was a prank. No, there, there was shit only, too. There what? was only one like, script at the beginning. And we did a fucking prank. There was a prank. The whole video was not... 
scripted, but we planned out the entire video so yeah. that like it was more of like an intro to like what to expect. There was a on script in there though in that the we beginning. did kind of. It was like a little skit. Yeah, yeah. in the backyard. Yeah. yeah, not our finest moment, and but not, yeah. but you got to start exactly. somewhere. Which, which yeah. I do agree with. I feel like we also didn't really know what we wanted to do with the channel, so we did a little bit of everything in that video. And I agree. Kind of just went with it. Seeing what could we do other than you know vlog. We said we could maybe prank, which we, as we know, did Pranking not. Is tough, the, man. Dude, tough. pranking is not easy. It is not. People can sit there and be like, "Wow, like, you know what I mean?" You can prank and piss people off, dude. It's not easy to be good at pranking. It's actually and a skill. to take the time to make sure you get like the best reaction. Good reaction, yeah. like, and to be able to know on the spot how to react to some what someone else does to oh, continue good. the yeah. funny. You like, got to think off your head. It's a you gotta, you're con oh. yeah, you're and you're constantly. It's not even just like a character where you have a script. You're constantly think you got to think real quick, real yeah. quick. We did. Do you guys remember the, do you want to have a threesome or do you want to have an orgy? I remember in that. In the yeah. mall, square one. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> we like, like, going up to like, couple, we going up to like that, couples right? and shit, right? We, we're doing, yeah, we never no, had a post video that, right? was never no. posted. We, we did filmed. the Cheetah Girls too though. Oh my God. Yeah. Shit. That wasn't prank though. It was it, in no, public. We were going up. To, oh yeah, I guess that was just like a vlog, a Halloween vlog. Right? No, yeah. we did do a Remember, prank we were bit in there questions. though. You we were asked filming like, in the yeah. car. Oh, do you want to be the fourth cheetah girl? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Chip was, was yeah. literally dropping it down yeah, in I, that cheetah yeah, outfit, yeah, I did. like dancing and shit too. Yeah, I did. Fuck. Yeah, but I think like we got, we needed to try those different things to like know yeah. what we didn't like, and then we did like the pranks with Denmo. That was so scary because like he would just be in our ear, be like, "Yo, do this now," and we're like, "Fuck." <laughs> it's like he was, he was so good to, at it. You have to do it. It's just kind of otherwise, yeah. it's like it doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah, and I also think we don't like fucking with people like that much. I I especially hate it. I'm never a big prank guy. Like I do not like when people fuck with people yeah. in public. Yeah, it's 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 awkward. It's really fucking awkward. You got to be like a special person to be able to like do that and like do it well. Exactly. Yes. Like, if, if it's not well, done well, it's bad almost. It's like I, it comes yes. across mean as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. It does. Yes. Yeah. That's why like yeah. guys like Gideon, they do such exactly. a good job of like make it like you don't seem like an asshole, but it's still funny as fuck. I also think everyone that wants to start YouTube, some people even just they'll just try pranks. You know what I mean? Like whether it's a prank call video mm -hmm. or something like that. A lot of people have those typical or like uh, ask me what's 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 when you ask send questions in? What's that? Q and A's. Yeah, Q and A's. Those are the typical first starter videos for us. We tried a couple prank videos, yeah. vlog style videos. And then eventually we started doing the drinking challenges, which is really what a lot of people, original fans, I would say know us from on our YouTube as the drinking videos from the 100 cup flip cups. What was even our first drinking video? Yeah, I'm I curious. Think it was I think either. It was, a, it was a, like a skills challenge thing. I think it was one of the basketball ones. Yep. Basketball at skills there. drinking challenge. Yeah. It NBA. was so cold too, man. Freezing. We did a football one in Guelph too. That was Freezing. So oh <clears throat> we were God. straight up in like negative weather. <laughs> negative. With a t shirt or maybe just a sweater on when we're doing these things and throwing a football when your hands can't move because we've been out there for four hours filming this thing is almost impossible. And, and getting hammered. Fought. And trying to eat well, hard ass starbursts. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. Gonna be done. Yeah. I'm glad we found like the drinking videos. Those did really well for the year that we were allowed to post them all. Oh, those were awesome. Those were yeah. that also set up our niche. You know what I mean? It was almost like the first videos we had on YouTube was the same thing when we started the TikTok. We didn't really have the niche yet and the drinking videos set aside us as okay, this is going to be a, you know, heavily college demographic party style type channel, which for four dudes film themselves, film their lives having fun. And that was great. And we can say we took that all the way until last fall before we started the Buzzing Across America tour. So it was drinking videos up until... Um, we actually, no, we continued doing them in that first tour though too. And we did, yeah. No, I'm saying <laughs> when we added something new to the channel, then we added a whole new kind of... That was a big change for sure when we started doing the college videos. Huge change. And that was stuff. because... And that was almost bad. That could have been bad when we got two strikes around that time. And the reason we can't even really do those drinking videos anymore is because... August 2021, we got two strikes in the span of a few days. Um, basically, you know, YouTube didn't say what the problem was. It was harmful, harmful acts. And we, um, we ended up probably because you know, of the yakking. Assuming, of the yakking. assuming it was because of the yakking. yakking. Self, exactly. exactly. Self-infused yakking. Yeah. Um, but it was great. It was almost a kind of 
a telltale sign when we started even the tour, you know, this direction of our videos maybe is for a good, you know, now YouTube saying you can't do this. And it was just kind of, I don't know, maybe a sign. Saying, I think you need to be able to adapt, right? Yeah. Like all the really good YouTubers adapt and are yeah. able to transition into different types of content. And I think the buzzing across America videos is a good, it still has like the drinking and the frats, what life, the kinda, niche, it's still the same niche. niche. It's still the same. And, niche. And, um, I feel like it's also, and then it's also just not as fucked up. And I think now there's a whole new, like the friends we've been getting recently, a lot of them know, know us from buzzing across America. I was at the, I was at the bar in Michigan. Um, and I had, I was taking pictures of a couple of people and we had one, I had one kid, you know, being like, Oh, is this guy famous? Like kind of like, just like ripping like a little banter, a little chirp. Uh, and then they're like, Oh yeah, it's the boys 90. They're here filming for buzzing across America. And he was like, Oh shit, wait, who? And then he pulls and he comes up to me. He apologizes. He's like, yo, my bad dude. I know you guys from the buzzing across America, buzzing across America videos. I fucking love those. Come. I'm from uh, Western Michigan. Come to my frat. So he knew us. He didn't watch any other videos. He only watches the Buzzing Across America. It so also it's a, makes sense though because all those videos, all our past videos before Buzzing mm -hmm. Across, are all been, been privated. So uh, yeah, that's it. Buzzing Across is like our main. It's videos. our new thing now. Sorry, and, it, and it's the videos we've been filming for the past uh, majority of the past year. If you take away the summer, they also do the best too. Like every video, I think is like hovering or has more than 100k yeah and so like that's a lot of eyes seeing this shit dude and it's solid it's and even solid on, even on tiktok too like uh, we posted the video on like the best moments thing two million and people are like yo come to this school come to this school yeah and then just word of mouth be like oh these guys are doing this shit and like trying to find the best party school yeah. so yeah and i think the the combination of the drinking videos which we'll still do like we'll still film you know film you know a golf drinking video pub or golf. a pub golf we still have those golf drinking videos on the channel um, mixed in, of course, with the college type videos, it just fits the niche. You know, it fits it fits the brand well, um, and it's different. No one's really done. I mean, people have done tours. You know, Barstool Blackout, Brianna Chicken Fry, what she's doing with her Sleep When You're Dead. Um, but we have a little twist on it. You know, four dudes traveling, vlogging ourselves yeah. to a little more personality. Um, doing an entire weekend, yeah, just like one night. We're going and showing more than just like a bar and light. Yeah. We showcase kind of it's the full experience there. Really. Full experience from tailgate. Like everything you kind of want from the school. Yeah, tailgate. You know, <laughs> bar scene, Greek life, which is honestly really big too. Especially if you're a student trying to figure out what school is good for you, you kind of want to know these things that you don't really get from just a visit, a one-time weekend visit. You know, you don't get a night out with friends to see how am I going to like it here. You know what I mean? People can actually watch these videos. That bar, that bar looks like I would have a great time every Friday. Yeah, I'm going to go to this school because of that. Yeah, that's uh, there's been actually people that have come up to us now, which is cool. That so say I chose Alabama because you guys have it at number one or I chose this school because I saw your guys video and I liked it. This is the first year that it's actually <clears throat> taking into place. And we had um, got a DM a few weeks ago. I think this was the coolest thing from buddies out in West Virginia. And uh, one of the guys we worked with uh, the frat Lambda. And he sends me a message saying, hey, you know, good luck with the tour. Just wanted to let you know I've had numerous kids come up to me being and ask and saying, oh, my God, you're the guy that gave the frat tour in the Boys 98 video. That's why that's why we're rushing right now. And he said the crazy amount of kids have rushed and chose their fraternity because of our video. That's insane. You know what I mean? Like, it's actually that was cool to that's see. Cool. That yeah. was really that was a really cool moment for for us was to see that. uh that we're actually impacting people's decisions on what they want to do with their college experience. Yeah. I think it's just getting more and more too, as like it keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you see these nice, like especially Bama, I think for one, like oh, you dude. see the house tour. It's like, damn, that's a place I want to be living at. And then kids are just going to go there immediately and be like, I want to rush there. Yeah. It's also for it, for you. If you don't know, you know, the process of rushing itself, you have kids rushing. Sometimes, you know, they just do the one, they do the one yeah. frat or they, they do three. Cause they don't know. They want to see the guys talk to him. But when you get, when you get a personality showcasing the tour, you know, you know what? I, I fuck with that guy. That guy seems cool. I'm gonna rush there. I'm gonna see how they are. You kind of have an, an edge. It's more like personal. I feel like. And that too. Yeah. And that you, already, too. you already know the person going into it. It's like, okay, shit. It's like a homie almost. Exactly. It's yeah. like your boy before being your boy. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Do we want to jump into the, uh, gauntlet back? Explain what the gauntlet is. I watched, uh, Avengers Endgame and infinity war and I just, you know, went to bed that night and then woke up the next morning and I thought of a great idea. 
<laughs> you're, you're like an Albert Einstein, man. Pretty much, man. I'm fucking whatever you want to call me. But so basically, Infinity Gauntlet is, as you guys know, there's six stones in the movie. I don't know if you yep. haven't watched it. There's six stones, basically. And they all have like a correlation and they're all like give you power, basically. Yeah. And if you have six, you're basically a god. You can do whatever you want. You can snap your fingers and do whatever you want with it. So I cr- looked online, did endless hours of research into this. How many hours? 9,000 plus hours of okay. research into this. <laughs> yep. He's to an find, expert. To find the best six sororities nationally in the nation. And what are they? <laughs> the best six are, as we know, Alpha Phi, Kappa Kappa Gamma. Here, let me get the list going. KD. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Try Delta. Where is it? Okay, so Alpha Phi, Zeta Tau Alpha, Delta Gamma, Chi O, Tri Delta, and Kappa Kappa Gamma. Those are the six from my endless research I've done. And basically what you got to do to get a stone of each of these is you have to get a sweater from one of the sorority girls. You can't buy this shit. And that's cheating. That's so you, cheating. That it doesn't has, even it count. has to be given to you. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that's what you have to do with it. Just, <laughs> just a sweater. 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 Yeah. Just a, but it is sweater. pretty damn hard to get a hoodie. It is. Of it is. A soror- like for a sorority girl, because they only get sometimes you only get one in that design and then they don't make it again. So for a girl to give you, you know, one of those hoodies. It's respect. That's why it's tough to get. And if How you many have, do you have? If you have six, I don't have any. I'm, How I many sweaters do you, yeah, you have? you do. I have one. I have one. Say the, say the sorority. I uh, try Delta. It's a great it's, sorority. It's a great one. Great, great sorority. One. One, one of my favorites. I love them. One of my favorites. Great, great ladies there. Awesome. I want, an, I want some sweaters, dude. Oh, is that your mission this tour? Are you trying you to collect some ask. hoodies? No. <clears throat> no. It's not my mission. I, I don't want, I want sweaters, but okay. like, I kind of just want to give it to me. Yeah. Oh, so you just want them to hand you the sweater. Yeah. yeah. No, you just want them to get on their knees I and mean, be like, here's the sweater. Here's the sweater. <laughs> no, like any girls watching this and maybe in those frat sororities and want to have any extra sweaters on hand, it's going to be colder, you know, these coming months. And, uh, I would love a sweater. I like your guys' designs, the colors, the pastels ones. Those are nice. Yeah. They are nice. The one I have too makes a great a pump cover too. It's yeah, a per, that one. It's a nice gym. fucking sweater. I'm being serious. It is nice. It looks, oh, I, I, I wish I like had it. it. Yeah. 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 And now we'll get into the. Uh, That's the gauntlet. Thanks for the explanation, Mac. Thanks for the gauntlet. Hey, anytime, man. That's what I'm here for. What happens when you complete the gauntlet? I don't know. I like, I really don't know. It's no just, one can talk shit. Do you think anyone power. has ever completed the gauntlet? Yes. I don't think so. Yes. Comment yes. below yes. if you have or if you are trying or making it your mission to come dude, there's definitely challenge some... shield for this though why it's just they're gonna thing, break you know? into sorority houses and just steal fucking hoodies <laughs> no you it's got to be gifted it has to be a gift <laughs> it's got to be like hand it to you it's automatically done yeah. yeah we don't we don't fucking promote no that was activity. a joke that was a complete joke fucking guy chip yeah. would be the guy to steal a sweater oh come on dude i've seen him steal I, a couple things before i've never stolen cap what have i stolen Kappa, my heart. Kappa. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay, anyways. Um, all right, thanks for the gauntlet, Mac. That was dope. Um, we're gonna go into the debate section now for like the, the uh, for the for the video for the podcast. So we got three questions. Now no one knows the questions. So last week everyone knew, and I don't like that. So now I got three questions, and we're gonna go around, start with Mac, then Chance and Steph, and we're gonna we're gonna get into the bro talk. What's your boy's favorite beer? So we got shower beers, mm. you know, next beer. What is your guys? Favorite beer? I think a beach beer is probably the best. What What makes a beach beer? I just think there's any beer outside is just very good. And then the vibes usually on the... Actually, not a beach beer, a boat beer. Being on the boat. That's a good time. Yes. It's just hard. It just makes you want to drink. The yeah. sun's out, beaming down on you. The vibes are high. Girls are looking good because they're probably in bikinis. So you just want to drink. You want to have a good time. So your favorite beer is the boat beer? It's a boat beer. Good answer. All mm. right, Chanch. You know, I was new to this. I've never done it before than this one time. But an airport beer, (laughs) I don't know what it was about it. But I had like one and I had like a slight buzz going. And then I had two and I was just like, this is the best time ever. Like airports are a stressful place. I fucking hate being at airports. The custom security always takes forever. So like those two beers just like. I was just so chill after that. It does put you in a better mindset. Yeah. An airport beer. And they do hit way fucking harder. I don't harder. know what it is about it, but they just hit. They do. That's my favorite beer, I think. Can I say a hard liquor? Because, like, I've had an airport drink, too. But, like, I would get hard liquor. You know what I mean? No, Instead. it's beer. You got to stick to beer. It's just a if, beer, if man. You, okay. 
just stick to beer, but it can even be a seltzer. Okay, if sense. it was a beer, it had to be a hot day. So what I'm thinking, I, I kind of would take his. I think a beach is a perfect day to have a Corona with a lime or something. So you're going to go beach beer? Any, like, yeah, pretty much. Beach beer? Okay, Solid nice. choice. How about you? Uh, dude, I, found, I heard of this one the other day. And this, for me, because of the kind of guy I am, it relates to me, a free beer. There's nothing better. Hear me Classic out. Classic Mooch chip, man. Just hear me Classic. out. There's nothing better than when a dude comes up to you at, a, at, a, at an event, whether it's a tailgate, you're at a bar. It's like, take this beer, man. Like, how, first of all, you're going to take it 10 out of 10 times. It just, how, you feel better in the moment drinking. It's like, ah, I didn't pay for this beer. I think, this like, nice. anything free, though, is, like, just better in general. Yeah. It just hits different. It hits, it hits way different. Like when yeah. you, you know what I mean? When everyone's giving you something, like whether it's a gift or something like that, like a free beer, yeah. just imagine just a buddy just at the tailgate. You yeah. get more appreciation. Here's, here's a beer. Oh, thanks, dude. I don't, I don't need to get my own beer now. You know, I have my own beer. <laughs> free beer. Love, what love if, free What beers. if it offered you a free Guinness? At this case, Fuck no. At this point, though, that usually means like we are shotgunning that beer. I'm okay with that. That's usually how Steph I. Steph hates free beers now. Like, you don't like free <laughs> no, beers? No, no, no. Because he's going to be forced to shoddy it. Maybe mm. if I have to do like. Seven in an hour or something. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, eh? You know, like yeah. at the pipe party. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Next question. Um, yeah. This one's good. When is the right time to drop the L word? Oh, fuck. I got, that's <laughs> tough, man. Because, like, this is so good. Yeah. Think about when this you're one ready. Like, like, I Take don't, your I feel time. like, there's no exact point. You don't think there's ever. I said, when you're ready. Like, when you're do gonna, you know you're ready? Yeah. yeah. When, when do you know you're ready? I've never been in a relationship, so I feel like. So you've never been in love. No. Okay, I'm sorry. You look disgust. You look disgusted. No, I was thinking. I was thinking about that because <laughs> I was, like, cause I was surprised that I like. I guess I've not fallen in love. You know what I mean? That's Aww. good, man. Do you want to? No, in I love? feel like you would also have to date someone to fall in love with them. I'm not. Just yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not gonna fall in love with a random girl. No, yeah. sometimes you fall in love with those girls. You at the may bar. fall in love with the cha- your chance you're notorious twice. for that. Dude, sometimes but. it just like. You just have like that good convo, you know, at the bar, and you know that you might not ever see this girl again, and it's like, fuck. This is the I one. I love that. Girl. The weekend yeah. wifey. The weekend wifey. Yeah. I think that's just your emotions built. It like. Yeah, it little, is definitely. Like no, you're just a little softer. <laughs> I mean, when it comes like, to the girls. Because like a week later, it's like not the same feeling, but it's nice, in the moment. Have you ever had a connection, with a girl, Steph, that you thought was close to maybe no. that could have been love? No. Have you been in a relationship before, Steph? No, I've never been in a relationship. Been relationship. Never had a girlfriend. That's why I'm saying I. I've been talking seriously at all. Now. To a girl. No. There was never like a well, close. I point. also like this is the thing. My parents like kind of said, I don't know how, like I don't know why, but they said it. But until your university, try to stay away. From oh, girls. Okay. So I kind of just was always in the back of my head. Don't get a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. But if I found if the right girl came around, then yeah, yeah then you're locking her up. Just nice. sliding the uh, stuff to down on there. So overall answer on your end. There's never a right time to drop the L word. No, you just don't know when you I feel said. it. When you feel it. I'm also saying that because like, I'm not, I haven't felt Got it. it. Okay, Chance, what about you? I think there's, even if you feel it, you shouldn't drop it sometimes. So there needs to be, a, like you could feel like in love maybe two weeks into the relationship, but you can't drop it yet. That's not oh, real okay. love though, man, if it's two weeks. Yeah, no, yeah. like dating. So like maybe you talk okay. to her for like six months or whatever. Three months, six months, start dating. Just you need to hold off. So what is the what is the time? At least you want her to know that she's in love with you. No, no, not that. That's not the reason why. You just don't want <laughs> to <laughs> scare. <laughs> kind of a fucking deceptive. Why? Wait, why would you think that? But he doesn't no, I want. Thought, I thought that's what you. Oh, to say. I think it's because you don't want to scare them off. Relationships and girls' emotions are so delicate that like. Sometimes dropping it at the wrong time or too early is going to now scare them off, especially if it's a girl, you know, maybe hasn't been in a long term relationship before. And it's like, oh, fuck, he's already saying he loves me. Like that word for girls means a lot more than it does for guys. Like she's going texting her group chat. Right. The moment that word comes out of your mouth, even if it's by accident and she doesn't react to it in the moment. She's going home or talking to her girls or friends or family be like, oh, my God, he said he loves me, even if it was like. The guy in the moment was like, oh, my God, I love you. Like, that was so cool. But, like, you don't mean it in, like, that love. But she's she's going to she, take she it. She reads it the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. So it needs to be in, like, I would say at least, like, two, three months in the in past dating phase. 
So you have to be in a relationship with them. Yes. Interesting. What's your call on when the right time for the outward should it's be a, It's definitely a tough. I feel like it's got to be like a couple months into it, like maybe three, four months at least. Three to four? Into the talking or dating phase? It could be talking. It could oh. be because I've, oh. I've dropped it when I think I, I wasn't even dating yet. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, I think you I dropped had. it pre-dating. Yeah. It was you like, dropped it, it was like mid- three months into it though. You dropped it while you were just just wheeling it. Like truck. we were basically like dating at the point though. But like and it's, you like, it's it? that. Because like I feel like you can know. I'm trying to think. I feel like, like there's no set time zone. Though. There's no you set time zone. I agree. And also like who needs the label of like, all right, yo, do you want me to be my girlfriend? Like I don't think you need that label to love somebody. Whoa. Correct. That but was, it's not about good. actually feeling it. It's about when you were going to say it to yeah. them. Because dropping it is a different story than feeling it. You could feel you could be in love with someone Ten two weeks in, week, to be yeah. honest. Like I think you could straight up be in love with someone maybe a month into talking to them seriously. No, I don't think so. You gotta like you live with them, I feel like, them. for a bit to like know if you love exactly. them. Exactly. Talking to them seriously, I would say, for a month. A month is you quick, could. Though. It depends. I'm saying it's possible. That's fast. That is fast. That is fast. My parents dated for ten it, years though. before getting married. Ten years. What? Wow. Your parents dated for 10 years before getting married. I mean, That's you actually knew. smart, though. Honestly, though. dude, the way, like, that makes sense. What's the point of getting married, though? If you, what is the point of getting married? I also... Like, by honestly, law. Like, by law. I'm wondering right now why you get married, too. If you get a divorce, half your money's it's gone. It's for family, though. It's like, it's like why... No, but I you... Mean, I feel like you can still have a relationship and create a family without actually getting married. I... Mac might be onto something here. You don't need to be bonded by law, man. I agree, but I'm just like I think it's for, I'm it's that religious super reasons. I'm yeah, sure. traditional Italian exactly. family. I kind of just it have helps. to do it, and I want to do it. Like when it's just a, fun. A family is together. Like it's just it's nice. It's sorry, wait, what's fun? The wedding, getting married. How do you know if that's fun? <laughs> like I just think weddings I think are it fun. would be fun. Like weddings also, are a great <laughs> time. It's never serious i feel like it's never like fully serious if you don't actually like tie the knot i mean it could be very serious if you're like three kids deep and you're like living together it's there's the same nothing thing. riding on it though what when do you mean if you have kids your together, kids your kids are you riding a, on it you have a house together you basically have they're literally everything. it's just a label with the yes. it's just a label it's just a government signed document saying you are married to this person it max, binds you max kind of max bitten some facts right now yeah, and if you have kids you. by law by law but now like People get divorced. Fifty percent of marriages get divorced. That's what I'm also. Yeah, that is also a number that does scare me too. So like, so that's why I think that you can't just find the right girl. Fall in love that quick. You do have to find the right girl. So heads or tails, dude. That's the odds we're at right now. That's my big thing. I don't know. A, I don't know if I want to get no, married this. by law. I'm also thinking about that too. Matt just came on here and spoke some wisdom. Yeah, this is a brand new topic. Holy man. shit, no, dude! Just, I like that concept. The, lo- the love thing just made me think, and I was like, okay, maybe I should ask you guys this. See what you guys think. As a kid, you always think me getting married. That's you think it's the right thing, right? But I, just, I also agree. Times are changing. Though, I don't know if sure. I'll get married. Like not in that way. Like, I kind of hope one of us does get married. I'm getting though. married. Fuck yeah, dude! We're you, gonna destroy you that wedding. You still have it's a wedding unreal. though. Like even if like you didn't technically get married by it's law. It's just a party. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah you can. That's all it is, really. A wedding is just a party. I don't know. I like the ceremony, and like I don't know. It's just traditional for me. Um, it's a great party. I'm that time. guy. It's gonna be a fucking fun. No, no, no. Wedding. That's why I w- I need one of you guys because like we're all boys, so we'll be a part of like the groomsmen and shit. Like getting on the mic and just being like hammered. Like hey, you know, like you know when they do the games where um you got to make the if you go up in the mic and say something, then the bride the bride and the mm-hmm. um, and the groom kiss. I'm gonna be going up like so many times just saying stuff, and then you guys are gonna kiss. Just, yeah. Nice. I think so many make out the kills bachelor night. party though will be better than the oh wedding. Oh my god! We need a good bachelor yes, party. Dude. Oh, yeah. Our bachelor party's gonna be fire, insane. Oh my insane. god! I haven't. I didn't even thought of that. That's we would rage hell. It'd be so much fun. A little Nashville rip. I mean, a long time, long time till then. Yeah, I mean, no. Well, it's not on my radar right now. I mean, I'm just saying when one of you guys gets married, it's gonna be a fucking time. You know what I mean? How many? How many? When can you? When do you know if it's the right time to marry someone? How long do you have to date them to marry? Fuck, man. Three years. You gotta be at least together for three years. Oh, living together two years, men. That's living a scientific together? fact. If you this is a, this is a scientific fact. Living together with someone for two years, twenty four months, you will know everything about that person from their needs, wants, how they, how they dress, how they behave. You will know everything about their mannerisms. Science has proven this. Two years, twenty four months living together. That is Wait, the time. Sorry, is I agree on that. 
Two years. I two genuinely years, agree on that. Two years of living with someone, you will know every all their mannerisms, okay. their their problems, what they have to work on, grow on, what's you know, everyone's cons, pros, you'll know everything. What everything. if someone can't live together? And you're not flag. getting married? Yeah, that's like, I don't I don't think you should get married unless like you live with the person prior to Yeah. yeah oh, I sure. completely I agree. Hundred percent agree. Because that's, <laughs> that's when you really get to know a person is when yeah. you actually live with Oh them. yeah. Dude, living together with someone for three days or seven days, you can know way more about way, them yeah, way than more. just going on like dates here and there. Because when you're date, you're just going on dates to like restaurants. So it's like you're, that person's always gonna be like the best, yeah. the That's, best part of yeah. them. Yeah, it's only like three hours max. Exactly. Here it's twenty four seven. You know, but when the, when you guys had maybe Taco Bell the night before and she's got explosive diarrhea, you're now forced to live together <laughs> with that person yeah. and deal with that. And like, have you dealt with problems no, no. like that? In the past, <laughs> it's just, it's just something no, that definitely be a turn off for some guys. They're like, Oh, like, if she's like ripping explosive diary every morning, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> not every morning, I mean, dude. Everyone has, talk about. everyone has their flaws, everyone has exactly. Yeah, some have explosive diarrhea. It's like, yeah, yeah. also just like knowing how like your partner deals with like you when you're maybe not at your best, yeah, exactly, how, yeah, and vice versa. How are you when I'm at my low? Are you gonna still be there for me, you know, make sure I'm good type thing? Not just be with me when I'm at the highs. Yeah. I feel like we're turning into a dating advice. Yeah, no. Anyways, anyways, podcast, you know. But we're on buzzing bit. across America, baby. Yeah, yeah, we, we are, are not ready to settle down. Wait, what? You guys want to drink a beer? I'm, Get back to the vibes. I'm, 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 the so vibes have been stopped Let's see it down. Here. Sunday it's night warm, football is zips. calling our name. Mm-hmm. It is. Has it started yet? Go to it. It's probably it's warm as fuck in between your thighs. Oh, really warm right between my thighs. Is that the last question? Yeah, no, that's good. That's great. All right, cheers, guys. Yep. Second episode Boys. being complete. Cheers. Yes. Yes. Water. Yes. Cheers. Yes. That is it. Make sure to subscribe, listen on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Um, we're on those platforms as well as YouTube. And uh, we will see you guys at Mizzou next week, Columbia, Missouri. Yes, sir. That place is going to be weird. I, I don't agree. know anything about Welcome. it yet, and I'm excited. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Episode two. We'll see you guys next week. Peace the fuck out. Easy boys. Let's go, baby. City boys. City boys. Stay winning. <laughs>